Hello, welcome to another review made by Optic Straight. Today I have here on my table the binoculars from Maven. Uh, this is a new player on the market, uh, B2 series uh, in special configuration 9x45. So I will do a short overview and then at the end I will tell you some uh, good things, uh, some things I really like about them and some things that could be improved. But first of all, I would like to say a huge thanks to our viewers and subscribers, because without you, none of these uh, reviews and debates and our videos wouldn't be possible. So thank you. Let's first say some things about the company. So Maven, as I said, is a new player on the market. They entered the market in 2013 and they are a US based company. They offer a wide range of different products. We have binoculars, rifle scopes, a range finder, spotting scopes, monoculars and other accessories. So a wide range of products. Um, and th this B2 series or B series in general is a high performance uh, lead level optics um, in the series. B2 series is um, has models with 45 millimeter objective lens. So we have like this one, nine power, so nine by 45. It's a bit of an unusual configuration. Uh, we also have models in seven power and 11 power. So three models all together. And all of these models are basically a low light uh, binoculars. So low light um, models from Maven. We have Japanese components uh, assembled in the US. And let's start by um, the weight of these binoculars. These are a bit heavier because they are low light. So with 45 millimeter uh, objective lens, these are at uh, weigh at 970, uh, sorry, 97 grams. They are also big, uh, around 15 centimeters uh, in width, and they are about 18.5 centimeters long. You can see that they have a really modern design, uh, gray and orange combination. Uh, they are also available in black and gray combination. But I think this design and this color combination making makes them really unique and modern. We also have a few logos written on the binoculars. So uh, you can't uh, miss from which producer they come. Magnesium housing and rubber on the outside to prevent any uh, impacts. Um, we have single bridge design, very narrow, uh, move towards the eyepieces, so the handling with one hand is really easy that way. You also can turn the knob, focusing knob with one finger. I really like the position of the uh, bridge. Waterproof and fog proof. Uh, they are filled with dry nitrogen gas to prevent any internal fogging because they are so uh, maybe more on the heavier side and big in size. They can be mounted on a tripod under the screw. We have the screw is a bit um, harder to reach, but you just unscrew this cap. Uh, attach a tripod adapter here and then onto a tripod. As I said, because they are maybe a bit more heavier and uh, big, it's useful to mount them, uh, so to have an option to mount them on a tripod uh, at any time. Let's move on to some optical characteristics. We have ED glass here which means extra low dispersion glass. This, is, uh, this helps with uh, chromatic aberration and with color fidelity. And 
to talk about the prisms, we have Albeconic prisms. These are a type of root prism, which is uh, a bit um, more expensive to produce. And basically, Albeconic prisms help with uh, transmission of light. So these are more, um, more lighter in the, how would I say, low light situations. So at dusk or dawn, these will perform better than uh, binoculars with schmidt and roof prisms. We have scratch and oil resistant lens coatings on the outer lenses. Really bright image. When you first put them on, you, uh, I was really impressed with how bright the image was, which is all thanks to Abiconic prisms and the bigger objective lens. Incredibly sharp image uh, in the center as well as on the edges. Vivid colors. Uh, I have to say there is some visible chromatic aberration, but nothing of too much, so it doesn't bother you that much. We have 125 uh, meters of field of view at 1000 meters, which is really impressive. And we have 1.5 meters of close focus distance, which is also amazing. So you can also observe some really small objects like butterflies or insects. And uh, now where to use these binoculars. So um, I would say these are, as Maven says, low light binoculars. So you would need them if you're hunting in demanding light conditions. They are not so suitable for other observations like, uh, I don't know, hiking or traveling because they are quite big and heavy. Uh, they, the details can be expected more uh, better than with 8 power magnification. So these are in 9 power magnification. Um, I wouldn't also suggest these ones for, I would say, beginners um, because the fatigue with these binoculars gets really uh, noticeable because um, they are big and heavy. Uh, also not for children because they are big and heavy. So uh, basically for a someone who um, would really like to have binoculars that will perform great in low light conditions. Now let's move on to focusing. The focusing knob and the diopter knob is made out of metal. I don't know if you can hear this, but this is a really nice addition to the overall design of these binoculars. We have here dots all around the knobs uh, to help with the grip. The turning is really smooth. It's positioned in the center at the end of the bridge. Nicely positioned, easily accessible. We have diopter setting here on the right eyepiece. Also, the turning is really hard, which is a good thing. We have plus and minus here and a line to see where you have your adapter set. Uh, let's move on to focus, uh, sorry, to eye cups and the eyepieces. So we have multiple positions. Uh, the first one, second one, third one and fourth one. These are really suitable for any type of user, even for those who wear glasses. Now the turning is quite easy. I wouldn't say this is a good thing uh, because the setting can be easily uh, moved out. They also don't hold the position that well. And the rubber seems quite uh, here narrow, so I would say these get a bit uncomfortable after some use. But the good thing about these are uh, if they get damaged or uh, you, would, you would like to replace them, you can easily unscrew the whole eye cup and um, replace them with new ones and easily uh, screw them back on and use your binocular. So this is a really, really nice addition. Now let's talk about what's included in the box. So when you purchase these binoculars, you get rubber eyepiece covers to protect your eyepieces. Nice quality. You also get 
objective lens covers made out of rubber to protect your objective lenses. These can also be removed from the barrels if you don't like them. But I think these are a nice addition to protect your binoculars. Then we have padded neck strap to attach to your binoculars and carry them around your neck. Instruction manual in English language. Uh, here we have all the instructions on how to adjust the eye cup position, eye relief, how to adjust the focus and diopter. So basically all the needed information. And you get your binoculars um, here in this soft case, so soft back. Um, some people complain that uh, there is no hard case included with these binoculars, but Maven decided to um, offer it separately. So to only include this soft back, which I really like, it's nice with Maven logos. And about warranty, uh, Maven has a really, really nice warranty um, offer. So they are they are warranted basically for all of the lifetime uh, unconditionally, which means that if it's even if it's your fault, if you damage your binoculars uh, in any situation, they will replace or repair your binoculars free of charge. Um, so uh, it doesn't matter uh, where you uh, what have you done to them, basically. So this is a really, really nice thing. Now these are priced at around 100 and, um, sorry, 1,180 euros. Uh, and to point out some good things first about these binoculars is that they have impressive optical quality. Uh, they are really bright thanks to the abiconic prisms. Uh, sharp image in the center and on the edges. I really like the optical, uh, the view, the image is really impressive. Great warranty period, uh, nice and modern design, uh, really wide field of view for nine power magnification. So we have 125 meters. Um, and I would say these are really great value for money at around 1000 euros, you get abiconic prisms, which is an amazing thing. And maybe to point out some things that could be improved are, I would say, eye cups, as with all Maven binoculars, I think the design and the um, mechanics of uh, eye cups could be improved. We also have the size and weight of these binoculars. These are big and heavy because they are meant for low light use. So you won't uh, bring these binoculars to mountains or when traveling. We have little of uh, visible chromatic aberration. Um, and of course, as I said, no hard case to store your binoculars, only this soft back, um, which are basically not that major downsides. I really struggle to find any major downsides because they are, in my opinion, like all Maven binoculars, a great value for money. You basically get a premium optic with abiconic prisms for uh, under 100 and, uh, sorry, 1,200 euros. So this is all for this review. If you enjoyed it, give us a comment and like uh, under this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, see all of our other reviews and debates on our YouTube channel and uh, see you next time. Bye.